You're watching Big E Outdoors, educating on the truth of hunters' contributions and conservation for all animals and their survival. The facts behind the hunt, the use of the animals that many don't see, and the true honor of being called a trophy hunter. Join us each week as the BEO team, led by Brandon Eager and his father Patrick, travel the world in search of adventure and showing that all hunting is good. Partnered with Boss Safaris and world-class outdoor adventures, Big E Outdoors explores the world hunting all animals. All human ancestors, no matter what race, religion, or creed, come from a heritage of people who hunted to survive. And like it or not, humans are predators. So if you're a sissy, now's a good time to turn the channel. Otherwise, fasten your seatbelts, because you're watching Big E Outdoors. Big E Outdoors is brought to you by Boss Safaris, world-class outdoor adventures, Kakuyu Lodge, Tobik Valley Outfitters, Cutco Cutlery, and Next Gen Crossbows. Also supported by Slayer Broadhead, RW Hart Custom Rifles, CEZ Reflective Product, and Rapto Razor. Hunt is good brand. And by the Wisconsin premier hunting destinations of the Wilderness Reserve, Hogsback Ranch, and Three Lakes Trophy Ranch. Hey, welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Television. This week we got a real treat for you. We're headed to the dark continent to hunt with Boss Safaris and we got some extra special treats because we're actually going on a lion hunt. I landed in Johannesburg and the first thing they did is pick me up in the middle of the night and drove me all the way up to the Kalahari where I got to meet Wayne, Leon and the rest of the PHs from Boss Safaris. This is definitely not the last lion hunt you're going to see on Big E Outdoors and it's definitely not the last controversial animal that we're going to hunt. First morning out, I got to ride with Steve Hicks and Wayne and Pat Kelly out of Alaska. Pat Kelly was actually going to be the first one to hunt a lion. Well the first step in hunting a lion up in the Kalahari is to drive around and try to cut some tracks. Now some places don't hunt lions with a lot of them in their concessions. Up here where we're hunting there's free roaming lions running everywhere and the environment is 100% natural. Now again, there's several lions roaming around out here and they live in their pride. As long as a male lion is living with the pride, he's obviously a healthy lion and that's not the lion that we're looking to hunt. We're looking to hunt the old males that have been cut out from the pride and they're off on their own. They have a tougher time hunting than what you'd normally think. Well, we'd stop and search all these water hole areas, look at all the tracks that are around and number one, we gotta find a lion track. And again, like I said, we're looking for a lone lion. These trackers know exactly what lion that they're looking for. Just like a human fingerprint, each lion track has a little bit of its own individual characteristic. All right, uh, I'm Stephen Hicks. I'm uh, owner of World Class Outdoor Adventures, a hunting outfitting business in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm here hunting with um, my good friend, Wayne, uh, he owns Boss Safaris. This is my fourth trip with him here to South Africa. We've got uh, one of my good friends, Pat, from Alaska as well, hunting with us. And we're, uh, we're actually hunting a lion today. <laughs> a lot of folks are going to say, why hunt a lion? And I'm going to tell you this. Number one, why not? And number two, there's a lot of good reasons to hunt lions that people don't know about. Did you know that lions and lion hunting is actually contributing to the comeback of the Bengal tiger? We're going to tell you how as you watch this show. Um, at the moment, we we taking the we're driving these roads um, to see if we can find any lion tracks. We're checking all the, the the watering holes as well, um, just to see if we can pick up any tracks. And from there, if we do find tracks, we'll, we'll see how fresh they are and which area they we, we think the lions headed off into, and we'll 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 pursue the the lion on foot from there on. We finally cut a big male lion track crossing the road. Now we know it's all alone, we know it's a male by the size, and also the trackers have a little bit better knowledge about this than what I do. This looks like a quite a good track. What, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back all the way, and then we're gonna drive down that road to see if the track didn't cross the road there. So we wanna cut the block. This is a quite a big block, so 
So if the track doesn't cross there, we're going to come back here and start walking. Now the land out here is big. And when they say they're going to go around the block and see if the lion came out the other side, we're talking miles and miles and miles around this block. But the lion moved into this section, so the next thing that we got to do is send someone around to see if he actually crossed over the road this morning. Very welcome to the Kalori. I hope you're going to enjoy it here. I hope you're going to enjoy the hunt. As I said earlier on, we don't take the rifles to shoot your animal. It's only there when it's necessary. So I want you to have fun. We will put you up into the line if we can. If you're not happy with the shot, you don't take it. If you're not comfortable, you don't take it. We will try to put you into a good spot. But as you can see, the brush is quite thick, so sometimes you need to take a shot through the bush. But let's see. And enjoy it. Yeah. Do you still believe that monster bucks only exist in the far north, deep in the snow and frozen tundra? Well, guess again. Big bucks are right here at Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve, just outside Orlando, Florida. Find that monster you've been looking for without risking exposure or buying cold weather gear just to stay warm. Even take your family along because Cypress Ridge is located right close to all the park. Enjoy hunting monster whitetail, hogs, axes, and turkey. Look them up online at huntcrp.com. Cypress Ridge Hunting Preserve, just outside Orlando, Florida. Who wants bacon? Gum Log Plantation, Abbeville, Georgia. Trophy wild boars, meat hunts, awesome turkey hunting, and excellent Georgia whitetail. See Bland at Gum Log for an all-inclusive hunt with great grilling, a superior Southern Georgia Lodge, and down-home good hunting. Gum Log Plantation, let's go hog wild. Welcome back to Biggie Outdoors Television, partnered with Boss Safaris. Experience Africa with the professional hunters of Boss Safaris and share a lifetime experience. Whether you're hunting dangerous game, plains game, or just enjoying the beauty of the dark continent on a photo safari. Years of experience make Boss Safaris the number one destination and outfitter service in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. Share the culture and the life of Africa from the hunt to the table. Hunt with the boss, be the boss, book with Boss Safaris, bosssafaris.com, or contact a Biggie Outdoor rep for more info and assistance in making your dreams a reality with Boss Safaris. So we know that the lion is in this particular section, for now, but once we start tracking him, that could change. So the tracker, is, his job is actually to make sure that we stay on the right track for that particular lion, no matter how many lion tracks we cross. Now there's quite a few of us there obviously with the camera crew and one of the things that's really important is that we all stay in a tight line and we stay close together. Because when that lion gets cornered or feels like he's ornery enough, the first person he's going to take out is whoever's straggling off to the side of the herd. Now a couple of times while we were hunting this lion, we actually crossed tracks where there was a pride of lions and he mixed in with those tracks. So it takes our tracker a little bit of time to figure out exactly which one we're looking for and where he cuts out of the herd separately.
as we were tracking, one of our PHs actually spotted this lion that we were that we were after underneath some trees. The lion saw us well before we saw him, and he got up and took off. So now the hunt is on, and let me tell you, when a male lion knows you're after him, he starts doing things to try to lose you, and also to try to find out just how serious you are. Now we know we're getting close, because number one, the sun is getting high in the sky, and the hotter it gets, the less these big males like to move around. Plus, we've jumped him a couple of times. Now, we jumped him and there wasn't enough time for me to get the camera on him, but trust me, the more times you kick up a male lion in the hot sun, the angrier he gets. Okay, we've been following these lions now for the last two hours. Um, we've bumped him once, they were lying down, and he was lying down underneath a tree. Went into the thick bush now. Um, we were just regrouping, getting one of our vehicles back here. Um, we're going to drive around in certain blocks again and see if he hasn't moved into some other areas. What we're suspecting is he moved into really, really thick bush. It's going to make it really difficult and dangerous for us to get to it. By now we realize that the male that we're after is actually one of these big white males. Welcome back to Big E Outdoor TV, also partnered with World Class Outdoor Adventures. Anybody can hunt a whitetail in the back 40. It takes a real hunter to conquer the Yukon and bring home the Yukon moose, sheep, rams, and world-class brown bear. When you're ready to step up, contact World Class Outdoor Adventures. There is no equal. The biggest brown bear and Yukon moose available anywhere, and the very best and most experienced guides in the world. World Class Outdoor Adventures. The ultimate rush. WCOadventures.com When we finally get up on this lion and spot him, he's bedded down in the shade well off to the side of the trail. What he had done is moved up ahead, circled around beside us, and laid down in the shade to watch us go by. Well, Pat Kelly put two great shots on this lion, and thankfully the brush was thick enough that he didn't come charging out of there. That happens a lot when you're hunting these big males. Hey, you're watching Biggie Outdoors. We're over in the Kalahari in South Africa with uh, Boss Safaris, Wayne and Leon and Pat down from Alaska hunting. Just got ourselves a really awesome lion, a white lion on top of it all. With the help of the guides, Wayne and Leon, um, we were able to get a couple of good shots, put down the animal quickly, uh, and it was it was an awesome experience. Total adrenaline rush. Hey, was it everything you thought it was going to be? Yes, I did. It was it was uh, it was a great experience. Uh, these guys are total professionals. You were in the middle of it, yeah. <laughs> um, it was. Uh, 
it was a great experience. I, there's nothing else I can say about it. Do it again in a heartbeat as soon as I can afford it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir, And I hope it's all Thank that you. You, you were hoping it would be. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a privilege for us to, to share this moment and experience with yep. you. And, uh, yeah, I want to say say thank you to all the all the, the, the trackers and all the other staff that, that were involved on this hunt to make it possible. Um, well, let's take a break from this hunt a little bit and let's ask some of the professional hunters over here what would actually happen if hunters quit coming over to hunt the animals in South Africa. So if we, what would happen? I'm going to ask both of you this individually. What would happen if if uh, if the anti hunters in the world, okay, if England has just a ton of these anti-hunters and they're just out there just saying we should just stop hunting completely okay what would happen if we just stopped hunting what would happen to africa i will think poaching will increase mm -hmm. tremendously and poaching obviously is why we were almost extinct on a lot of these animals. and the numbers of game will go down but because of hunting there's more game now in south africa than there was 20 years ago mm -hmm. so I'll because it's regulated yes now you remember that I told you that I was going to show you how hunting lions can actually benefit other species, especially the tiger. First of all, you got to remember that 15 years ago, there were only 3,000 lions left in the entire southern half of the continent of Africa. We're not talking South Africa, we're talking Africa as a whole. You know, the reason why we have a healthy lion population in South Africa is exactly the same. You know, the reason why we have a healthy hunting population, CITES have opened the export of bones, you right. know, lion bones to the rest of the continent. Um, and for that reason, you know, everything about a lion is being utilized. The meat is being utilized, you know, to feed other species such as crocodiles and, and, and. But the bones are exported. And that has relieved the pressure in India on the, on the persecution of tigers. You know, instead of now the people, you know, killing tigers in huge numbers for the bones and so on, you know, for medicinal, for medicinal um, purposes, you know, lion bones are the replacement for that. And the people are more than happy to do it. And it's, and it's huge value in that. You know, and it's not just have, have trophy hunters, you know, such as, such as everybody that comes out for trophy hunting have played a role in it. You know, these bones are now exported and replaces that of tiger hunting and it's relieved the pressure on tiger hunting. Um, and, and the persecution of tigers and, and numbers are getting up, you know, so everything has an, has an role and the people, unfortunately, the anti-hunters don't see this, you know, they don't see the valuable role that not just trophy hunters, but everybody plays in, in, in preserving the species. Today, thanks to the fact that lions have a value on them and people want to keep them around because they're worth something, and the fact that lions are being raised for commercial hunting. Lions are up to nearly 9,000 in the entire continent of Africa. And that's 100% due to the efforts of hunters and hunting farms. Hey, are you ready for some hunting? Trophy Ranch in the northwoods of Wisconsin. Where superior Canadian genetic whitetail is our obsession. Come get some. Find serenity, relax, and enjoy the beauty of Nuntutla Creek Farms. Whether it's a family getaway, a weekend with the guys, or a corporate retreat, Nuntutla Creek Farm has what you're looking for. Miles of the finest trout streams in the southeast, quail and pheasant hunting, sporting clays, and more. Located in the Blue Hills of Georgia, Nuntutla Creek Farm offers it all. Fly fishing lessons, guided trips, or do it yourself. It doesn't get any better than this. Book your getaway today at Nuntutla Creek Farm. Welcome back to Big E Outdoor Television. Also sponsored by Kikuyu Lodge. Experience the unbeatable beauty of South Africa's Eastern Cape and one of the finest lodge locations in the country, Kikuyu Lodge. Superb lodging, great activities, and an experience for the entire family. Hunt abundant game fields and see dozens of species each and every day. Once you've visited the Eastern Cape and Kikuyu Lodge, your only question will be, when are you coming back? Contact Kikuyu Lodge at kikuyulodge.com or one of their phone numbers to book your amazing experience today. After we got done hunting the lion, we all took a walk back to the truck. And on the way back to the truck, we come by a watering hole and a feed station, and there, lo and behold, is a really nice trophy water buck. Now, Pat Kelly wasn't sure he was after a water buck, 
until he took a look at this bad boy. Good lord, you dropped him right there where he was. Good shot. Nice shooting, man. Nice shooting. One shot and he dropped him right in his tracks. Pat Kelly can definitely shoot. So let's go up and take a look at this trophy. Beautiful. Hey, Stevie. Well, after we shot the line, we were on our way back to the vehicle, and uh, we came across this this big water bug bull, um, which which Leon actually spotted. And uh, after we had a good look look at the bull, uh, we had decided it's it's time. It's time, yeah. <laughs> and um, he put on a, about a 150 yard shot on this bull and dropped in its tracks. Um, right then and there and well congratulations great, uh, great great um, times great opportunities here the boss safaris they do there's so much game here so many opportunities you, you better bring lots of bullets because there's <laughs> there, there's there's game everywhere um and and uh ask the wife permission if it's okay <laughs> yeah. well, congratulations Thank sir Thank beautiful water bug bull and uh show is going to be plenty more appreciate it yeah <laughs> thanks a lot there you go all we need now is skunk. Do you guys hear skunk get skunked here? No. You got guys who come in and get skunked every once in a while? Skunk? Yeah. The issue on that is uh, his hunting gives the animal a value. And I know it might sound, you know, like, it might sound harsh, but hunting, or trophy hunting especially, gives the animal a value. And as an owner of a concession, for example, let's say if I had, if I was farming cows, you know, I could only get that one price, you know, I'd be stuck on that. But now I've got animals that have increased so much in value. You know, for me, I'd let my, my property be returned to its natural state as, a, as this place is. You know, right. I'd, I'd let the property return to its natural state and I'd let my wild animals grow because I have a value on them. As soon as they lose the value, what, what reason would I have? keep the animals and, and that that's the, the mindset that, that you know most of most of the landowners have um, and that gives us you know that gives the landowners a, a good reason to preserve these animals to, to breed them to, to get the numbers up is, is because the animals have a, a good value. They have a value thanks for watching Biggie Outdoors television this week we'll be right back next week we've got a lot more hunts here at Boss Safaris Kikuyu Lodge and a lot of other places in South Africa and around the world for that matter. Stay tuned because we're definitely going to take you some places that you didn't know existed and we're going to teach you a few things along the way that you probably didn't know. No, you look cool that way. <laughs>